One second, I'm sorry. Hello everybody, it is Goldsboro. Welcome back to more Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. In the last episode, I'm sitting here adjusting my computer so that you can see my face better instead of the light. In the last episode, we cleared K3 and so now we are on our way to Razor Ridge. I don't like Razor Ridge. I'm going to be just flat out honest about that. By the way, I will point out too, you may see, if you remember from the last time I was recording, you could see this, where's my finger going? This Ruby Volume 4 poster right here. But now I have a Donutisms poster right next to it. Just letting you guys know so that you don't ask questions later because I'm a crazy man. Anyway, energized and ready to go. Let's do this. Buzzer Barrage. It's like 8.30 at night. I should be... <laughs> Why am I doing this? I don't know. Anyways, Buzzer Barrage features a level where you play as the squawks again. The, the barrel... The barrel boy. Of course, once again, it's teaching us how to do the barrel thing because he only shows up in two levels. Thanks, game. We'll, we'll get into who buzzers are very soon. Where is he? Er, here we go, we got copters. Copters are very annoying and not fun. Mainly because this level... This is hands down one of the worst levels in the game and the lighting is still awful. I am so sorry. Um, I might just... Honestly, I might just take voice face cam off finally because I, I already know it looks garbage and I'm sorry. It's just... It's just how I wanted to do... Do this Let's Play, guys. I'm sorry. Um... See, I'm making our way through. We got buzzers... Or copters to deal with. I believe this is to the DK coin? No. Wait. Oh! It is the O. God, I'm not funny. <laughs> Take it with me, just in case. There might be a coin somewhere. No, that's the bottom. That's the bottom right there, so... Gotta wait for this copter to move. You might notice me treading slightly more carefully than I usually do. That's because this level is really long. And one of the, the biggest problems with it is... Literally, copters could come and ambush you out of nowhere. And we don't want that. <laughs> We don't at all. At least I don't think I'd, I. I don't. I don't know if you guys do, but I would hope that you guys love me at least a little bit to make me not want to suffer through one of the worst levels in the game. You'd rather me fail at a level that I say that I'm good at, right? Maybe. God damn it! I do that every time. I'm always afraid of this particular copter because this is the one that always gets me because I don't know what I'm doing. Please? Yes! Checkpoint! Okay, cool. Alright, things will be slightly less painful now. Because I don't have to worry about having to start the whole beginning of the level again. Oh my god! By the way, I think this is where the coin's at. Once again, I could be wrong. Because I always am. Um, like I said, copters ambush you like out of goddamn nowhere, so there's like... It's annoying. I believe the coin is... Right there. Okay. Okay, good thing I waited. Or I would've been absolutely murderized. And I'm gonna wait for him to come back up, too. Because no... Yeah. As the game continues on, uh, copters become more and more common. They become less exciting and less funny looking and more, I want them to die horribly. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this barrel, I already know it. I got it! I don't have to- <laughs> Trading carefully, you guys probably hear me flicking my controller. Insanely. Okay, we'll wait patiently for this one, per usual. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. I'll wait for you. Huh. 
Okay, yeah, this one corkscrews through, so yeah, no, screw that. Um. Oh, God. They like to do this little thing that's literally not very difficult, where we just drop a barrel down invincible buzzes, because they'll just bounce right off of them. I was literally just sitting there like, why is there, like, a thingy? Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> I'm upset. Um, Alright, let's clear. Come on. Yeah! Who saw that trick shot? Who thought I could do that? Who thought I was actually a Hanzo main? Guess what? I'm not. Stop that. Um. Oh shit! I knew he was there! What the fuck? Mmm. Mmm. Damn it. I'm very mad about this, because that means I'm probably going to have to hit the checkpoint again. I'm not going to do like I did last time something like this happened, and I'm just going to like... <gasps> Please? Can we get this coin? Fuck you. No! I'm done with this stage. Get the hell out of here. No! Whew. Okay. That was, uh, that was absolutely terrifying. Benny's cheerlifts. Good day, Crazy Dixie names. Benny. Benny the Bull. Sure of it. Yeah, stick around. The name Benny kind of throws me off. Because one of my friends from work has a husband named Benny. Benny's cool. What is up with this lighting? It's usually not this bad. Whatever. Not not gonna worry about it too much. Confuse Cliffs. This level's pretty terrible. I don't have as much of a problem with it as other people do, but I can understand why people hate it. Because... Oh, you motherfucker. Um, so you spend most of this level just kind of climbing up this... this rope. And you have to dodge hazards while you're going. But the problem is, is that you're stuck to this rope until you have to transfer to another rope, which... There's two things you're trying to do. You're trying to watch out for enemy hazards while also trying to stay away from the fire. It'll push you up too far, I mean, too close to the, the edge of the screen. Stuff like that will happen where you just saw me get freaking wrecked by a copter. By the way, once, once again, like I said, copters are very common in Razor Ridge, and it's not fun. Oh, jeez, I almost died to that because I needed to burp. Excuse me. Um... Anyway, where was I go? Where was I at? Yeah. It pushes you a little too close to the top of the screen. You'll sometimes miss things like copters who are trying to, who are out for your blood. We don't freaking want that, right? How did that hit me? Are you kidding? No. Also, sometimes you you won't be able to tell what's coming from what direction. Unless they have bananas directing you, which most of the time, I'm doing this just for the shortcut. It cuts me a little bit of time out of this stage because this stage is zero amounts of fun. I'm gonna do it too because this is actually a fun one. All right, time to worry about stupid amounts of hazards again. Just give me the freaking checkpoint! Damn it. Oh, there it is. Confuse Cliffs isn't particularly long. It's actually kind of short. It's just. It's tedious and. Patience trying. And I don't have a lot of patience. So. Stuff like that happens. Also, I don't have a headphone in, and I missed that sound bite. Oh, whoops. Got wrecked by that guy. 
Yeah, we're gonna be here a little while. Considering we're 10 minutes in and we're only on the second stage, yeah, we're gonna be here a while. God damn it, why did I try that? I have 57 coins. I don't really need them for anything else except for grinding with Swanky, which I don't need to do anymore since I have everything I need. Crap ton of lives. Oh, the screen's panning! Wow! This game is something. They really did that. <laughs> this game is so funny. <laughs> no, I'm actually not that aggravated right now. I'm just, like, being crazy. There's no reason to try worrying about that hazard, because all you get is one coin out of it. Really? And there wasn't any extra hazards that I actually skipped. That's crazy. Fuck off, DKC3. Where's this buzz? Move, 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 move. This buzz needs to move. Thank you. And okay, so we're doing pretty all right. We're in a big open spot with a bunch of shit, and by a bunch of shit, I mean a bunch of buzzes that I, I knew I was gonna get hit by, but I went for it anyway. Also hitting another bonus stage because I need, I just need that extra, that extra leverage. I ain't worried about it this time. I say ain't a lot. Oh my god, and I forgot copters fly out like this. Which, I mean, it's not too bad because, oh, jeez, 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 jeez. Tread lightly. Don't tread on me. Give me this. Just give me it this time. How did I miss the O? What the hell? No, what the fuck? <clears throat> I was at the end. Ooh. Ooh. I hate when they do that. When they screw up their pattern, or when they mess up their patterns and give you no sign that they're changing their patterns around. Ooh, I hate when games do that. Well, actually, I take it back. I don't hate it when they don't, I don't hate it when they do that, but it doesn't work in a game like this. Say kind of like, um, what's a good example? How, ugh, begrudgingly how I have to talk about him. Like how Eager Raptor said in his sequel Litus of Mega Man that they like to throw hazards at you at the same uh, one at a time, and then they'll throw them, and they'll throw them again at you. But except they'll be thrown together, making things a little more difficult. If they gave me some kind of sign that they were going to actually throw two copters at me from the same direction instead, really, I got hit by that one again. Whatever. Um. Yeah. If, like, they gave you some kind of sign that to, like, literally, all you have to do is make some kind of, like, pattern with the bananas that tells you, oh, this is the order that they're coming in. Like, that's, that's game design. That's genius. Hell, I basically gave them something to do with their work. Okay, I'll remember. This one is going to have a second one pop up this way. I'm going to assume another one's going to pop up from the left. Or none's going to pop up at all! Yes! Why can't I go this way? Oh, no! I'm just gonna rewind a little bit because I'm not going through this map again just, just to get the coin. Absolutely not. All right, cool. We're done with Confuse Cliffs. That level sucks. <laughs> Next up is Floodlit Fish. This level's meh. Main problem is that you can't see shit. But, I will show you if you saw that, that glowing yellow bubbly man, if you pop him, lights up the area. You don't really need them, because it's pretty easy to see, all things considered. Really, this game, this game. 
Especially if you're going forward and enemies go in the direction that you're coming from, because you'll just knock right into them because Ungar's hitbox is ridiculous and awesome. This is easy. If I say this, I'm probably gonna die. Or that's gonna happen, where they'll throw enemies that are potentially unkillable at me. Also gotta be careful with how far you, um... You make your shot, because I believe, also depending on the momentum of your shot, it will actually shoot you back more a ways from uh, that guy. So, the added bit of physics, that's it's, it's pretty awesome. Not even gonna lie. I'm gonna test it, actually. Yeah, see, it pushed me even farther back. That's... That's nuts! No, I'm just gonna wait for them. Not even bothered. Um, I'm trying to think of, because there was a couple of topics I actually had for tonight. Oh, I died. Good on me. Wow, I have 81 lives. Maybe I'll break 99 by the time pff, I'm going to die before I lose all those. Um, so yeah, got a, so 2018 is like the year of fighting games, because we got... I'm trying to remember all the different kinds of games we have coming out. We have the essentially the Xenoverse version of Nar or we have the Xenoverse edition of Naruto. Naruto Xenoverse, that's what I call it, even though it's called Shinobi Strikers, I don't care. Um, we have Fighter Z coming out for Dragon Ball, which is gonna be awesome because Arc System Works makes amazing games. <clears throat> Blaze Blue. Of course we have Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle coming out in June. We have Zacidia coming out, which is gonna be pretty sweet. We have a bunch of games coming out, and I'm very excited. Um I would like to give a little bit, really, man, I suck, um, I would like to give my take a little bit on the whole thing with Cross Tag Battle having like 20 DLC characters, cause it's like, one thing, I really hope they just price it, it price, they price it better, so it's not actually super, super terrible, but here's, here's where I'm going to have problems is is literally if it just costs too much like how freaking uh what's his name um jubei was like seven dollars for uh central fiction as dlc but um you gotta think about this so like i said i talked to i talked to major 404 i talked to uh snake mom melissa i talked to all those people and Gotta think about, let's let's talk about Fire Emblem spriting a little bit before I start getting into Arc System Works and how they freaking sprite their things. Oh, hey, checkpoint. Ray, if you remember from FE404, I try to forget it because he wants to. If you remember, Linoan, her sprite was custom. Her sprite was custom made. And all it was was her waving her arm one way and making magic happen. You wanna know how long that took Ray? 30 hours for just a hand wave and he didn't even have to upgrade or he didn't even have to make any spells or anything that was all basically given to him for free because the game just you could just throw lightning on her and you're good imagine that with yeah you already have basically blaze blues entire cast which that's fine but you they also have to make whatever characters they're making for Ruby, which they've already confirmed we're getting all of Team Ruby, which, I mean, of course we are, what the hell. But we're also getting Undernight, I mean, a bunch of characters from Undernight, and they're all being remodeled and redesigned for uh, for Cross Tag Battle to fit Blaze Blue's art style, which, yeah, that's a, I don't know how many characters, I think there's like eight or ten, something like that. Um... After that, we also have characters from Persona 4 Arena coming in, which... Yeah, they're already animated, but they're probably going to be updated to fit the core game of... Or they're going to be, like, updated and have their moves, you know, changed around, kind of like what they did for Blaze Blue with characters' movesets in order to balance them out and all that. Kind of like what they did with Jin with his, uh, his C move, where he just kind of kept swinging his blade around like a freakazoid man. But, um... Anyway. They gotta make all those sprites from scratch. From scratch. That's that's a lot, okay? That's a lot of work. And art is not expensive. And 
let's be real, Arc System games, like, 80% of why the games are so great is because of their, like, wow, or how awesome they look. Alright. We're mainly paying for art when we... when we play those games, so... Not, not to narc on anybody, but I am, that, that's just my, my piece on it, like... When you pay for DLC characters, you're literally paying for characters they made from scratch. And they gave you most of them for free. Like, Blaze Blue and Persona 4 characters, I, I, I definitely understand, because, no, nobody wants to play with that crap. But, okay, I take that back, people will want to play Persona and Blaze Blue characters, because, I mean, I'm gonna main Yosuke when the game comes out, but whatever. Pothole Panic, here we go! This level is very mm, simple. Uh, it's essentially the animal antics of this game. Except not as good. I'm gonna just go right out there and say it. It's, uh, it's, it's not bad. It's just kind of meh. We also have a new enemy type. It's a type of uh, the barrel dudes who throw bombs. You can't grab them. I don't know why of all they chose them. Oh, great, there's copters. I'm not worried about them. Now I am. Of course she only drops a frick. I hate you! I hate Razor Bridge! So much! Alright, let's try this again. Attempt number two, uh, I think. Didn't, um... Full of the fish only took me one attempt, right? I think. There were two attempts. Took me two attempts. Took me one attempt for... Uh, took me one attempt for... Buzzer Barrage. Confused Cliffs was like five. Not counting that I did see checkpoints and stuff. Or I did hit checkpoints and stuff. Um... Think of what else we got. I think that's it so far. Yep. I still- I, I don't even know how I was able to make Buzzer Barrage one attempt, but I, I'll take my victories where I get them. Because Confuse Cliff still fucks me up something fierce. Really? They, they're giving me the bloated enemies that usually give me cool stuff and just not giving me cool stuff. Thanks. Thanks, game. You're cool. No, you're not. Stop this. Could have made Pothole Panic something freaking awesome. But instead, we got a very meh animal antics. Actually, it is a less garbage animal antics, but it's still like, you don't have that cool mysticism of being all the animals. You just have, you just run around in all of them. It's not even nearly as difficult either. I'm just really bad at the game. Such a dumb enemy concept. Because they're garbage. I've never been hit by them before. I didn't want that. Okay. I do like this, this level type, though. Man, I got it at the last second. I don't know why I even played that stage. Because it was funny? I don't freaking know. Is there anything down here? There's a coin! Alright. Okay, I see what they're trying to do. They basically turned Ellie into Yoshi. Nope. Oh, that actually worked. Okay. Barrel's taking poops. God, man, Squitter, you're so helpful. 
literally that was the most underused thing of Squitter I've ever seen in my life. I am actually kind of upset. Oh boy, Ropey Rumpus. Ropey Rumpus is essentially if Confused Cliffs was sideways. Not even kidding. It's pretty much the same problem. You're on a rope, except it's not on fire, but you still have the fear of enemies ambushing you out of nowhere. Like, I'm I'm treading as carefully as possible just so I don't have to, like, replay the stage, like, 12 times like I did with Confuse Clips. Oh, shit. Why'd they give me this if there isn't a red... Why give me this if there isn't a red buzz for me to destroy? I definitely aimed the button upwards to throw it upwards, but okay, game, you do you. I'm actually pretty sad, though. Like, going into the talk about Blaze Blue, I really like Blaze Blue. I enjoy Blaze Blue's game a lot. Or I enjoy the Blaze Blue series a lot. It's great. And to know that it ended, to know Central Fiction is the last game in the series, at least of Rogma's story, quote unquote, it's pretty sad. Not meaning to spoil or anything, but I probably already spoilerized something, so whoops. Sorry about that, guys. But we'll see what happens. I'm ready for some interesting stuff to go down though. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. I can't wait to see what they do with it. Maybe they'll just milk Blaze Blue dry like they did with Guilty Gear. <laughs> Our system wouldn't do that. They love their games. Um so yeah, we got Perry again. Why? Why? I don't know. I hope. Okay, we got a balloon and a coin out of it. Pretty, pretty useful items. Just hope Perry doesn't get freaking hit by something. God damn it. Not even worried about looking for the freaking coin. I'm not, not bothering with that. Anyway, time for our boss. This is gonna take me a few tries. Barbosa's Barrier. Barbadoso. No, um... Barbosa's pretty... Eh? Not really sure how to describe this particular boss. Because it's just kind of... You kind of hit the little... Barnacle guys. And then... You hit the big barnacle guy. And this makes things work. I don't... I don't freaking know, okay? This is a very... Different sort of boss. It does kind of force you to think outside of the box, which I like. Okay, so I think... I think these, these enemies are kind of... Fuck off, yo! I missed. Piss off. Yeah, I'm not hitting him. Damn. Yeah, this is kind of a... It is a pretty hard hit to pull off. Because you gotta direct... You gotta direct the shellfish guys into the barnacle guys. And the barnacle guys are... First off, what I'm gonna think of is Crack Shot Croc when, um... You do this, and I always think it's gonna, you're gonna have like less time when he aims. So you're gonna constantly move trying to get out of the way before he, he aims to hit something. And what ends up happening is because you think he's gonna take less time, you're gonna get hit by him. Because, well, that might just be me because I'm bad, but you know. Oh, jeez! Okay, so... I... 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 What the... <laughs> no, I gotta start from the beginning. I almost got him one try. I'm... 
I'm almost sad, man. I thought they were gonna be nice to give me a checkpoint during the fight, but no, they just they just give me a few extra seconds of padding. Or at least they take out a few few extra seconds of the padding. Got him. Cool. He's honestly not that hard. It's just unguard controls are still weird. Like they are in um per usual. Like this is this is typical unguard fair. And of course I got hit by him, because the game isn't gonna let me beat a boss in one try again like I did with freaking Chaos and Bleak. And Belgia. They're, they just want me to keep repeating my fight with Eric all over again. Eric and freaking whatever the other one's called. The, the giant damn snail head. Alright, let's... So I had it this time. It's just... I The hitbox is really weird for these projectiles. Blink! Barbos is also just a generally creepy looking creature. It's just it's one of those big ass barnacles! Ay, ay, ay. Swimming control. God, thank god this is like. Oh no, there is another water level after this fight. No! I don't want it! Squirt, that's what his name was, Squirt, the weird giant snail guy. But yeah, so essentially, yeah, this is my fight with Squirt and Eric all over again. Except this time, he's, instead of fighting the little turtle guy from Finding Nemo, or my best friend, I'm fighting uh, a butchered Gundam. <laughs> or that one guy who uses his Mystic Art if you use items in the Tales series. Okay. Now I'm kind of pushing it. Oh! I hate this boss so much. I don't hate him. He's, he's fun. At least he's unique and actually challenging. Compared to other instances, where bosses are a joke, like freaking um, Belcha. I I don't know how that actually hit him instead of me getting damaged, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm taking it. I am not dealing with this crap. Okay, I think I got the first one. Yes. Okay. Please just just hit it and this. Damn it, I missed! Okay. Piss off, nerd. Yes! No! No! Why are you doing this? No! Mm. God damn it! I'm gonna die again! That was bullshit! <laughs> okay. Okay, if I, if I stay in this, this spot right here... Should be good. Okay. I'm gonna try that again. Hopefully that'll work. Like it did last time. Or like it just did. I just stand here. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop that! I don't like when you actually change your aim. Don't do that, please. No! No! <laughs> Just die. Just die. Die, please. Yes! Piss off, Barbos. God. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> Get out of my face. Oh, okay. At least we finished Razor Ridge at a reasonable time, am I right? And we got the final main world of the game. So... Next up on our list, Chaos Core, which we will take care of in the next episode. So I'll see you guys then.